Hi, welcome to BarcodeArena.com's YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to show you how to connect the Windows Mobile 6.1 operating system to your Wi-Fi network from factory state default. Windows Mobile 6.1 most commonly comes on an MC9090 gun style rugged scanner. Um, here's the short style over here. You'll also see it on a MC55 and MC75 here from Motorola as well. And sometimes you'll see it on an MC7090. Um, so pretty much any Motorola rugged scanner running Windows Mobile 6.1 this video will apply to. So we'll just get right into it, try to make it as quick as we can. And first we're going to optimize some settings and then walk through connecting it to our network here. Click your start menu, settings, connections. First you want to make sure your Wi-Fi radio is on. If it was off it would show just like the Bluetooth off. So if it's off click this to turn it on. Close out of that. Click your Wi-Fi icon here. We normally always change over to the internet setting from work. It's just more fluid in browsing the web and connecting to a broader range of Wi-Fi networks. Click OK to save that. Then we're going to exit out to the home screen. Down here this little blue icon in the right with the red diamond over it is your Wi-Fi radio icon. This is your home base for changing any Wi-Fi settings. So click that you get your menu. Click options drop down, select regulatory from that list, uncheck this box. Most standard Wi-Fi networks will not allow the device to connect when that is turned on. Save it. We like to enable 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz from the get-go. Drop down again, go all the way to the bottom, export. Click export options and save that will permanently save these settings that we just changed. So if the device ever reboots, it'll boot right up with all these settings already where we want them to be. Click OK. Pop open your Wi-Fi list again. Click Find Wireless Local Area Networks to pull up all the Wi-Fi networks in range. And it's going to pull up a lot because they are pretty powerful devices so tap your Wi-Fi network to highlight it then hold your stylus over it a, a second time to right click it and click connect now we're in our setup wizard um, also make sure that you've checked with an IT administrator at your company or somebody who's comfortable logging into the routers so that you know exactly what your password is because it's case sensitive and exactly what security mode your Wi-Fi network is and you'll see how that comes into play. Here's your network name and the ESSID is usually the same as the network name mostly always. You can leave these settings default. If you really want to, if you're in the United States, you can drop this down and select US, but normally it never makes a difference. Um, security mode in our case, we're running a WPA2 mixed mode network, so we're going to select WPA2 personal. If you're running a WPA slash WPA2, that is a mixed mode you'd want to select here. If you're running WEP, something older, you'd want to be here. So I'm going to go ahead and select our network type, WPA2 personal. Authentication type is none. And since we're doing a mixed mode, I'm going to go ahead and check that on. Um, sometimes your network security mode is going to be encrypted with TKIP. Just again, double check your router setting so you know exactly what it is. Because if you have one thing off, it's not going to work. Click next. I'm going to get my password in here. DHCP is what we're going to use. It's the most common automatically connects to your router. If you do static for more advanced network people you can absolutely do that. Default, next. CAM is the highest performance security setting. And that's how we normally recommend it. Finish. 
All right, so here's your list of profiles. This is a dummy default profile. You must right click and disable it. If it's not disabled, if your device disconnects for a split second, it's going to move up here and try to connect for 10 seconds. If you've ever noticed your device is sitting there for 15, 20 seconds, it's because this needs to be disabled. Um, so click OK to get back to your home screen. We've got connectivity bars here. Go ahead and click Options so we can permanently save this. Always, always export this setup once you've got it successfully completed. If you constantly have to set up your Wi-Fi again on your scanners every time an employee's scanner shuts down, it's because you haven't been introduced to permanently saving it through the export options. And that's connecting your Windows Mobile 6.1 OS scanner to Wi-Fi.